Hello and welcome back to uh, slash Reddit Diaries. Today's post is from the user Conscious and, who posted on the True Off My Chest subreddit. The user posted, My wife left me and our daughter for a guy we met at the mechanic shop. We've been married for five years. We have a four-year-old together, she has two other kids from a previous marriage, they are pre-teens. About two months ago, we went to the mechanic shop to get her car serviced and the guy there she kept talking to him and looking at him. I ended up talking to him too because I had a Raiders jersey on and he said he was a big fan of the Raiders. Anyway, I work 10 hour days that she absolutely hates but she is a stay-at-home wife. I pay all the bills so I have to be away. She was seeing this guy we met at the car shop every day I was at work, behind my back. Three weeks ago, I came home she wrote me a text saying she was gone and she's in love with this guy and she believes this is her soulmate. This guy, I did my research, has no place to stay so they all have been living in the car I pay for in different parks. The sad part. She left our four-year-old behind and took the other two kids that are not mine. She has blocked me on everything. Family members have sent me posts of her saying how much she is happy now and in love with her sexy man. It hurts to the core. I can't eat, sleep, or function at work. Worst my daughter cries every night, thank God my sisters and mom have stepped up to take care of her while I work and they watch her full time on the weekend. It's like I'm numb and don't know what I did so wrong. I took care of her, loved her when she was sick, loved her children. The worst thing she said I did was work too much and that I didn't have time for her. Well sorry I'm the only one paying bills, it sucks so bad. The other worst part is last night she had the cops beating on my door, when I opened up it was her and the cops. They were escorting her in to get her things. I'm so glad our daughter was sleeping. She gathered up some more clothes and said toss the rest she'll never be back. I looked outside and the guy she's with is sitting in the passenger seat. I am beyond livid. Oh yeah and she texted me this morning saying do I have gas money for her and will I pay the car note and maybe she will talk to me face to face but this is the only way. I didn't respond, I am numb. Yes, I worked a lot I'm sorry I didn't have time to take you to the movies or a special dinner but we have never been hungry one day, have a beautiful house and I always give you anything you ask for. Why not communicate so I could have worked on being a better husband and father? My wife is so beautiful I thought I was lucky but now see the real her. Update 1. I met up with her at the gas station by the house when she was crying on the voicemail I gave in, sorry I'm only human, I do love her but I am done with her now. When I got to the gas station, I was shocked to see her as I think people are right that she is on drugs. In just three weeks, my wife was already small but she is bony now. And my wife always dressed beautiful even casual, she was in literal sweatpants rags. But her nails were done. Whatever. I gave her $200 for food and gas. Her guy was in the car as well as my kids, I said I will take the kids please they can go to school or have your family pick them up. She said no she wants her kids with her, that they are no longer any of my concern, this killed me inside as I've been dad for 5 years, they call me dad and I love those kids with my heart and soul, she refused to say if they are in school, don't worry I called CPS today and left voicemail. I said you have another kid remember, she says yeah I love her and miss her but right now I do not want to be in her life and need to respect that and get over it. She is better off with you. She literally said I don't want to be in her life. I said are you in love with that guy? She said yes she is she made that clear she doesn't want to talk about it. I said okay I want a divorce and she said no she doesn't want to discuss that either. She does not want to give me a divorce well shocker I am getting in contact with a lawyer. Then she says I must pay the car note on Friday, I said nope not gonna happen or your phone bill. She said he will pay my phone bill but you will pay my car note it's my car. 
It's in my name though so that will be a fight for me in the future. Whatever not arguing bye bye. But the craziest thing she says I love you loud as hell as I walked away, I didn't even turn around or say it back. That was it for me. Oh my birthday is tomorrow and I asked can I take the kids out to eat with me, I plan on going to my favorite steakhouse with my daughter and family, I would love for them to come. She said absolutely not. So I said are you really sleeping in parks and why? She got upset and said I need to mind my business so yeah folks thank you so much for all advice. I was scared to call CPS but I did it, I just feel like this is a long emotional battle that I am already drained of. Update 2. Busy day, went to the school and spoke with the principal, she says my kids have been going to school, they missed a few days. Hem, well I'm shocked. Honestly because I didn't think they had clothes because their rooms still have their backpacks and clothes in them, so I'm confused. However, I told her the situation and she called DCFS. I called and talked to them as well. Also called my wife's mother, who really couldn't care less but it was a good try. I made a fake Facebook page and obtained photos from my stepdaughter's account of the four of them taking pictures in a dark park just a few days ago. The park overlooked the city so I was trying to see where it was located but it was very dark except the flash from the camera. They were all smiling and taking tons of pics. So that is proof that they are sleeping in random parks and are not stable at all. Still trying to find the perfect lawyer, called a few places. My stepson called last night to wish me happy birthday and he said they were at the guy's mother's home sleeping for the night, that is all he told me before hanging up. I have not heard from any of them after that even though she claimed yesterday I needed to meet her at the storage so she can get all their things out. Thanks everyone for the words, messages and concern. Update 3. My wife showed up at the house demanding car payment money Friday night. I told her I was not paying it and she said that she wants to talk about coming back to me. I said no, I do not want you here please leave, there is no car payment money, I am not paying it. She refused to leave and brought the kids into the house. I called the police and they came, she said it was her house and I told them the situation. They asked her to leave and she said okay. She told me she will be filing for divorce on Monday and I told her I already have a lawyer working on it. As she was pulling out of the driveway, I see a van at the end of the driveway and it's her guy driving waiting for her. Our daughter was not home, on the weekend she likes to stay with my mom so I'm thankful she was not there to see the big drama, not that her mom even asked about her or asked how she was. I told the cops my kids were living in her car and they need to go check the car because she has everything in the backseat as well as her dog living in the car. She lied and said they are living in a motel and all of that stuff in her car was from her taking it from the house when she left. She went outside and talked to the cops. I'm so over the drama. When she came into the house she was acting very weird, it was at night and she had on sunglasses, I told her take them off and it looked like she had a black eye. I asked her what happened and she said it was from lack of sleep. She looked a lot better than the last time I saw her though. So nope I did not pay the car payment. I feel guilty, I know people want me to report it stolen but I feel like my kids are going through a very traumatic time, the principal of their school as well as CPS have all the information. I wouldn't mind taking the kids in and raising them myself but I feel like right now they would be better off with her family, as they are aware of the situation as well. So tonight, I get a ding, it's her asking can I pay for medicine for my daughter because they are all coming down with covid or the fucking flu, I ignored it and I go back and forth about blocking her or not. For some reason I can't. My daughter called and she did sound stuffy so I said can we meet at CVS. She said yes and we meet, I buy them some stuff. He was not with her. I also bought them some food. She said can we talk. I said no. As soon as I get back home, 
It's my son texting from her phone asking me can he come visit me next week. I said I really don't know, he should be focused on school and I will see them soon. This is very draining for me. I'm feeling like I might block her number for now, at least until I meet with my lawyer next week. I am feeling extremely guilty not paying the car payment but standing my ground about it. Thank you guys again. Update 4. Well, she's back begging to come home. She says she's sorry and she's broken up with the guy. She called me to pick our son up, he told me he's tired of sleeping in the car, he tired to run away. I told him he can come home and he's here now. She let him come. My daughter says she wants to stay with mom. Shortly after I got a text saying she's sorry and that it was a bad decision, how she's been alone this past week, she is talking about suicide saying she's done with life. I told her she can't come here I'm sorry that the guy is treating her badly today. I thought they were doing good and she said I really don't know her, she was having a nervous breakdown and mental issues. She didn't know what to do but run. I didn't respond but my son is here guys. I'm so happy. Update 5. Well, my wife is still on the streets with this. My son was with me, he wanted to come home. He was tired of living on the streets so he he begged to come home. She agreed and I agreed, my daughter wanted to stay with her mom but she decided last week to come home too. Well she was home for all of two days. When she came home from school one day she ran away. We found her underneath a bridge close to our house. She is going through mental issues and I'm trying to get her some help. I am filing for divorce and when I told my wife she cried and told me that she is sad but she is in love with this guy. Fast forward days ago, she calls me crying saying this guy is acting up. He told her he feels like he's taking on too much with her and that he needs to take a step back. He's only 24 years old and he said at first he felt the connection strongly but he just wants to focus on him. She called me crying upsetting, she came and got the kids and all their clothes, she says she's going to LA to get into the homeless program there. I asked her not to take the kids and she said no she wants the kids with her and she thanked me for everything. She then asked could we talk about us getting back together, I calmly told her not that won't happen, she hurt me too bad and I can't just go back to the past. I forgive her but I am numb now, I just want a divorce and to raise the kids. I told her we could at least do that, so they can be happy and we don't have to be together to make that happen. She left the house and I got a call this morning, she said she was going to kill herself today. She thanked me again and said she's done with living, everyone has hurt her. She tried to make me feel guilty, I just called the cops and explained to them she has my kids and threatening to harm herself. I don't know where she is. Every time I feel a little closer to being myself and happy again, she does something that pulls me back into an abyss of darkness and hell. The stress will kill me for sure. Update 6 she didn't harm herself, she just went missing. A few days ago she dropped the twins off at our doorstep, they are now safely with me. They are back into the routine of eating every day consistently, taking showers, having fun in our backyard like kids do, all three of them are really hanging close to each other. Our four-year-old is smiling again, she loves having her brother and sister here with her. Last night they all begged me to order pizza and to watch a movie, so I said yes okay let's do it. This was the happiest I've been in months. Just looking around at my kids laughing and having a good time. I am content right now but I still have anxiety that she will show up and snatch them away from me. I've been in constant contact with CPS just in case because I have a strong feeling she is coming around soon. She's only called once since dropping them off, telling me that she is with her boyfriend and they are more in love than ever, blah blah blah. She says that he has inspired her to get a job and start making her own money so they can get a home and then she will be back for the twins. So right now she is supporting his dreams and he is supporting hers. 
Yeah, okay, cool. She also apologized about threatening to harm herself. She says she was just stressed. I'm done with her madness. Just focused on me and the kids. I am also planning on taking them on a mini vacation at the end of October, Disney World. Final update. Last weekend one of the twins got sick and I had to rush her to ER. They told me she has appendicitis and has to get her appendix removed. I called her mom who took about 40 minutes to arrive. She comes in with her boyfriend. Immediately I got pissed off and told him to leave, because I had my four-year-old and the other twin with me. I don't need this guy around. So he's acting calm telling me we need to go somewhere and just talk man to man. I told him no I have nothing to say to him. The entire time my soon-to-be ex-wife is telling me to stop. She doesn't even rush to the back to check on our daughter. She just stands there and tries to console him as I'm telling him to piss off. I could tell my kids were getting upset so I went to another part of the hospital and left them standing there holding on to each other. The doctors tell me my daughter's surgery will be emergency that morning and her mom is hearing this. Well guess what she asks. Just how long will it be because her new stud has to go to work and she's his ride. I told her to just go leave. Just go take him to work. At this point I'd been there for a little over two hours myself and that whole night at home my daughter, who is 13, cried in stomach pain. So my wife says okay, yeah I'll be back before she goes back into surgery, I'll just drop him off at work. Well that was last week and we haven't seen her since. She never came back to the hospital. She did call yesterday to ask how did it go and if she can come get some food. I told her if she shows up I'm calling the cops. I've also asked her to surrender the vehicle she's in that I pay for and is in my name or I'll get the cops involved. I'm beyond over her, so disgusted with her. When I made that original post, yeah I had a little hope she would come back to me. Now I have nothing at all for her. She even told me on the phone I sound more and more harsh with her. I am trying to get full custody of these kids, yeah they're my stepkids but I will not on any circumstances let them go back with her. She will have to call the police on me first. I can tell the kids are conflicted, they love her of course and they want the old her back. But she is gone. They are hurting waiting for her to show up. But she is gone. Gone in love, gone in drugs, gone in la la land. It's the truth. I've accepted the situation for what it is. I have a divorce lawyer. She told she will never sign the papers she doesn't want a divorce. She wants me to understand that she is just going through a life crisis and to accept it. I don't care, she can do what she wants but she can't drag us in the middle of it anymore. The locks were changed on Monday. She has no place here. No home to come to. The car will be out of her possession soon, as well as when I pay off her phone bill. I finally realized and came to grips with the reason she was able to continue to hurt us was because I was still waiting and wishing for that old person that I fell in love to show up. But the old person didn't just leave, this is who she was all along and by enabling her, allowing her access to me and our kids freely was damaging everyone. She has to be cut off completely. Which is scary because she can take her kids anytime because legally I never adopted. I am ready to fight the good fight when it comes down to it. Guys I'm free. I cried one last time and smiled right after. I feel really good. Even as she continues to try to hurt us and rain on our parade. We will continue to be a family, just the four of us. These kids are amazing and they deserve the best the world has to offer. I don't respect her as a woman or as a mother. Pray for us as we go through this uphill battle of getting her out of our lives for good. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.